In this video, we're going to do chain rule part two with trig this time. In our first example, we have y equals sine of 3x. Our inside function is 3x. Our outside function is sine. Remember, if we're taking the derivative of a function that is inside of another function, that would be the derivative of the outside. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of the inside. So we would take dy dx is equal to derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change the inside. And we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which would be 3. Most people will put that 3 out in front. So we would have dy dx is equal to 3 cosine 3x. In our second example, uh, this time our inside function is 4x squared minus 3x. Our outside function is cosine. So f prime of x would be equal to derivative of cosine is negative sine. Don't change the inside function. Multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which would be 8x minus 3. Again, a standard way of writing that would be to bring this back piece out front. So we have f prime of x is equal to negative 8x minus 3 sine 4x squared minus 3x. Remember that this 4x squared minus 3x is the angle that goes with sine. So you absolutely cannot multiply these two items together. In our third example, our inside function is root x. Our outside function is sine x. So given that it says y prime, this time I say y prime is equal to the derivative of sine is cosine. Don't change the inside. Multiply by the derivative of root x, which we've memorized as 1 over 2 root x. A better way to write that answer, perhaps, is y prime is equal to cosine root x over 2 root x. In our last example, we want to find the slope of the line tangent to a function at x equals pi fourths. Remember vocabulary, the slope of the line tangent to means take the derivative and plug in. So it's like saying dy dx at x equals pi fourths. So let's take the derivative, dy dx, inside function 3x, outside function cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. Don't change the inside. Now we're multiplying by the derivative of the inside, which would be 3. I'm going to put that 3 out front here. Now I've got dy dx at x is pi force equal to negative 3 sine. If I plug in my pi force here, 3 times pi force would be 3 pi force, giving us negative 3. Now we're going to use our special values. Sine of 3 pi force is in quadrant 2. Sine is positive in quadrant 2. So that gives us radical 2 over 2. Thus, our slope is negative 3 radical 2 all over 2. I'm going to move this up and give us a little more room. So I've got my slope, which is negative radical 3 over 2. 